Saturday early morning, 6 o'clock, or Ashram visiting Mr. Rashtrakti, the Bhagwan Master and Master Temple, they came to the temple and took RP and came back during the 99th birth anniversary of the Wilkin Scrappy Master, Master Tatsu Yama. Later on, we purchased that Caribbean um, soup, that is curry leaves. It is a hybrid one. It's very, very important for cooking. <laughs> Speaking of South Indian cooking, Lulupa got us around 20 of them, each costing 130 rupees. Hybrid ones. So we have the nasty ones, and today they are plucking, plucking, how it is going on. That's what I planned up uh, 20 of them. So we planned up right in front of the um, cottages. We rushed up to the high school because the uh, August 15th, the Independence Day celebration is coming up. So the Narayan workers and the Nakesha and all the rest of And we did party for all the chief plants. We made it very beautiful for children to play around. And Sandeep took the grass cutting in the middle. Total. Total high schools almost were ready. By 2 30, I called them and said, We have moved to Pogon Master and Master Temple. And all the 300 students with all the stuff went to the Temple, we had a small puja and everybody did this two horns. Beautiful kyaoi, that sounded very great. Energy level coming up, the battery being beautifully charged. Masutatsu Oyama said, Don't show pain even with a broken bone. Your opponent will see it. Here in Rakum School, that was the practice which we have gone through. In the dining hall, and every, all the students will sit. Swami Rakumji will be sitting in the center and he will announce, Do not spill anything outside your plate. If you spill anything outside your plate, please put it back into your plate. Cleaning members are coming to polish the floor, and if they see your waste, they will see your weakness and they will destroy you. If you know to spill anything outside the plate today, tomorrow money will spill outside the pocket. And that is a direct report of this line. That has got very closely related to don't throw your pain even with a broken bone. Yes. Expression of the face. Yes, India has taught throughout the centuries to keep the expression, not to Others to see it with all the pain. Yes, we kept on holding on to that, especially for the sannyasis, for the maharishis, for the priests, and for the father and mother. No expression, good or bad. You know, the most powerful pain comes also. Don't show pain even with the broken bone. Master Emma said, Your opponent will see it. Yes. The moment the opponent's opponent sees it, attack will be on that. And all the Turkish members around the world understood that one topic, there were Taekwondo, Kung, Kung Fu, all the big boxes, everybody, kick boxes, everybody was there. But nobody knew this one technique which went from Bakuman to Gita. The weakness on that part to be attacked. And in Turkish Karate, Masayama kept teaching them, kick or low, low kick, Mawashi, low kick, Mawashi, low kick. On the same part, again and again and again and again. By time three, four, five, I think, they will not be able to move. Knock down his body. This. And hence, Tukushin has spread 140 countries being very, of course, they have all the best techniques. But attacking on the same again and again and again. That way they kept on winning. And for you to win also, it is very, very easy. If you keep hitting on the same target again and again, and again any hardest rock will crack open. Any hardest rock, will crack open. Any, any, any uh, toughest gold will melt in front of you, but hitting again and again. To hit again and again, you have to go back and practice. Every time when you hit, you know, it is pain. No pain, no gain. So, you have to go back and massage and again, try again more harder. You have to eat more and work harder, sweat harder, and you can be a toughest man. It might be very small. You can bring down the huge big mountain down. Try to make it. But perseverance is very, very important. 
Masi tak soyamaz. Masi soyamaz. Don't show pain even if the broken bone. Even if your hand is broken, you have to hold on. That is the capacity of the push-ups. What they do, your hand will see. The moment that the the robber sees your house door is broken, moment the robber sees the house is locked, you can break it. You are allowing you are allowing the robber to see that it it can be robbed. There was a beautiful Zen story. The king had a guru, a Zen master was in. Every time the king goes to the guru to, to ask advice, and one day the king decided, my guru, Zen master, will be very good as a judge of the country. So he was appointed the judge. And very first case came to the Zen master. What was the case? A robbery case. What was a robbery? This robbery as Snatch the chain, gold chain of a lady walking in the street. The matter came in front of the judge, and the uh, public prosecutor said, "Yes, she has robbed it." So, and the judge said, "Enough, enough. Now I am going to throw the judgment." And he said, "No, no, 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 not now." Proceeding the evidence is the court. No, the judge said, "I cannot listen anymore." Now I understood the lady was wearing gold ornaments. She provoked, provoked the robber to snatch the chain. The robber didn't have half, and the half had not. She had more, so she showed. She pro- she provoked the man to attack. So release the man and arrest the lady. And put her <laughs> matter with the king and the, and all the people like that. The king telling tomorrow the people will go against you. Telling you are robbed all the time. and the uh, judge might put you behind the bars and the uh, then must be removed. Showing off is also very bad. You are attacking robbers. Hence, you need a lot of security. Showing off without much hard labor will attack even diseases. Showing off in the classrooms and in the other other places will attack when you show off or show off in the sense when you copy your weaknesses, understood? And your teachers don't have to destroy you. The mind is looking at you. Your heart is watching. Eyes are watching. That you are a cheater. You copied in your examination. You did not practice a thousand times. You again and again and again hit the same question again and again and again and again and again. You on one question on one subject. If you can hit the basic again and again a thousand times. The whole subject opens up. The whole world of the social science opens up. Whole world of science will open up. Mathematics will open up. People have forgotten the beginning and end. When you are not hit, what will happen? You will get to copy. The mind knows you are copying, and the copy and the robbers follow you throughout your life. You live in fear. That fear is your sickness. That fear is your distraction of being disconnected from your. Family, the the fear is stopping you from loving people, for giving a bag bear hug to the trees and talking to the animals. That fear stops you from even playing in the rainwater because you fear that you have to play in the rainwater. I will fall sick hundred percent if you are not a strong practice. You fall sick and you rush up to the doctor. But which is for no question that master master in my third side. When you fall, when I whenever I have fever. I practice three times more. Three times more. In fever, can you believe? Can you practice? But he said, I practice three times more and sweat three times more, and fever is gone. The disease is gone. Robert is gone. Then you can clean the cloud at the highest level. Which pain can stop you? Try this method. You can you know, on any any subject which you love it. The path is open. One step leads to ten thousand miles. They do <coughs> mountains, then rivers. This way, love, love moves, moves, and moves into when you are non-stop hitting the greatest difficult mountain, which is blocking your path to become the richest. Opens up. The ocean opens up. But hit again and again consciously. But if you're ninety, do you think you can do anything if you are with your family? I was lucky that I was away from my family. So when my nose is broken, my wrist is broken, my hip is broken, my knee got dislocated, 
I think you need to be the great judge of the human spirit. And save me as we go to you in my trust. God is, God has got the capacity in the broken things in your life. You can still take this home. I'm walking not to the city and I have a broken, broken wrist, broken tongue, and both broken. My hip is cracked. The both knees are dislocated. My tongue is not broken. Nothing knows. And I was big pieces in the end because one of my right legs was got a polio when I was small, but I can speak to a lot of speed. And you get connected to your friends and your ladies. You need to tell your pain and then they make your nobody come out of it. It's possible to hit the highest. Now say I said, don't show pain even with a broken bone. Your opponent will see. I'm feeling this way. 